BFTB boxing, best fight the best. So, you know, I've been looking online, you know, at uh, many people's videos, um, and you know, just to to play fair. I, I watch a lot of UK videos as well, and I watch I watch everybody's videos. I may not comment on them, but I watch them all. Um, because I, I want to know the pulse of what people are actually thinking, and what what's going on in like the boxing world and people's minds, and and in in and in reality, you know. And that's where you can make your best comparisons and your best videos off. Of. Um, not just watching the major channels. I, I watch pretty much a lot. Of pretty much all of them but what I'm seeing a lot of is I'm seeing a lot of people like I see a lot of people talking about many videos of people talking about how Adrian Broner um, should have took the Eddie Hearn deal Adrian Broner should take the Eddie Hearn deal you know Adrian Broner Adrian Broner's dumb and Adrian Broner um, it's patriot. There's patriotism in the U.S. And you, that's why they're not fucking with Eddie Hearn. And it's bullshit. You know, they're dumb. They're stupid. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, man. Hey, man. Adrian Broner don't have to do shit. Y'all got all these fucking videos. You know what I'm saying? All these fucking videos talking about uh, what Adrian Broner should take. And it's only three fights and... That's more money than he's made in his career and all this other shit and blah 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 and he he's a fucking journeyman and yeah. Hey yo, hey yo, let me let y'all let, let me let y'all understand something, alright? Anthony Johnson had one fight for 50 million plus. Where are the multiple videos on that? Don't don't talk about Adrian Broner's three fight deal for two million dollars per fight. Who gives a fuck? If he wants to turn that down, he can turn it down. So, who gives a fuck? What is he getting out of that? What? what he's already a millionaire. What is he getting? Is he getting undisputed? Is he going to be the baddest man on the planet after that deal? What the fuck is Adrian Broner getting from that three-fight bullshit Eddie Hearn deal? What is he getting? But fucking with a promoter that has lied numerous times. What is he getting? He's going to get on the zone. A fucking site that nobody has right now Nobody gives a fuck about What is he getting? It's more so what is he losing He's going to be strictly on, on fighting on the zone. That is it He's not going to be able to fight anywhere else For three fights So if y'all saying he's a journeyman And blah 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 Well how many fights How many more fights do you think this motherfucker got in his career? So he's going to fight Three of those fights that he has left in his career, three of them on a network that nobody has and nobody can see him. Get the fuck out of here, man. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck, fuck Adrian Broner and that bullshit ass deal. Let's, what, Anthony Joshua is turning down $50 million and undisputed for one fucking fight. What are we talking about Adrian Broner for? Why do we have all these videos about Adrian Broner is only making, let's see Adrian Broner's purse. Let's see Anthony Joshua's purse. Name one that did fucking $50 million for upfront guaranteed. Name any of them. You can put two, three, four of them together and they haven't made that much. Anthony Joshua has never made, no, correction, Anthony Johnson has never made that much. Ever. Ever. Never. He is going to make more in one fight, one fight, than Adrian Broner has made in his entire fucking career. And everybody's out here making these dumbass videos about Adrian Broner and he's a journeyman and he's stupid for not taking his deal and, you know, and this is UK people, UK channels, multiple UK channels saying Adrian Broner is fucking stupid, he should take this deal, this is the dumbest shit ever, he's only doing it because... Um, Al Heyman told him not to do it And he's only doing it because It's UK, I mean US patriotism And it's stupid, it's his career he's... Are we missing Anthony Johnson Turning down one fight For undisputed and 50 Million plus Are we missing this 
So, so, so it's okay to talk about Adrian Broner because he's turning down Eddie Hearn. But it's not okay to talk about Anthony Johnson when he's turning down Deontay Wilder. It's not okay to talk about that. Get the fuck out of here, man. Get the fuck out of here. Get all the way the fuck out of here. You motherfucking stupid ass UK channels making these fucking com making these videos about Adrian Broner turning down what? Six million dollars? <laughs> turning down six million dollars and it's a tragedy. This is a tragedy to y'all. You can't believe it. Oh my god. Adrian Broner's so stupid. I can't believe he's turning down Eddie Hearn. Fuck Eddie Hearn. Who the fuck is he? He's not a god. Who, who the fuck is Eddie Hearn? That Adrian Broner must sign with him. Fuck that $2 million. Adrian Broner's a millionaire already. The fuck is wrong with y'all? How about Anthony Johnson take that 50 million plus and fight for Undisputed and the baddest man on the planet title? Fight for that. Fight for a fight that actually fucking means something. Who the fuck is Adrian Broner gonna fight on this bullshit The Zone deal? Who? Who the fuck is he gonna fight? Again, he's fighting on a on a The Zone app that nobody fucking has. In the twilight of his fucking career. Towards the end of his prime, he's fighting on a fucking channel that nobody has. Where he could get a few more fights, you know what I'm saying, make just about the same, if not more, keep his name in the limelight, use his own fucking name instead of having his name being used, because that's what Hearn and zone are going to do, use his name. Fuck that. He don't, need to, they, he don't need to have somebody use his name. He can use his own fucking name. Promote himself like he's been doing. Make his millions like he's been doing. That's why it's a slave deal. You stupid motherfuckers. Talk about, oh, this isn't a slave deal because I don't know anybody that makes it makes $2 million per fight. And, 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 and Get the fuck out of here, dude. Get the fuck out of here, man. That means somebody is using your name. They're using you, and you can do nothing about it because you signed your life away. You've signed your life away for six million dollars, so they can do nothing. You can you can't use your name. Your name is fucking locked up for the zone. And anytime you do use your name, you're promoting the zone. You're not promoting yourself. You're not promoting about billions. You're promoting the zone. You're promoting Eddie Hearn. Fuck Eddie Hearn. How about we get on Anthony Johnson? Oh, Adrian, Adrian Broner turned down. Oh, he's an official journeyman now. Eh, Adrian Broner, Adrian Broner, you know, he's stupid. He's stupid. I, he should never have turned that deal down. That's more than he's made in any of his other fights. Ha, 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 ha. But yet when we mention Anthony Johnson turning down more than he's made in his motherfucking career, not just his career, more than his entire net worth. Anthony Johnson's net worth is $45 million. That's it. That's his worth. That's this motherfucker's net worth. $45 million. And he turned down $50 million up front. His net worth is not what he has in the bank. What are you guys not understanding? That is not what he has in the bank. Deontay Wilder offered him more than his net worth in the bank up front plus 50 million. And you bitch ass motherfucking stupid ass UK fucking fan bitches are out here talking about Adrian Broner turning down six million dollars as a bad deal and he's dumb and he's a journeyman. Get the fuck out of here. He's got nothing to fucking gain out of that. Nothing. But six million dollars. Then he can gain that doing other shit. And still promoting himself. Being his own boss. Not being signed to somebody where he's got to fucking do what they tell him to do. Get the fuck out of here, man. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. So Adrian Broner turned down a slave deal. Anthony Johnson accepted one. He accepted a slave deal. Anthony Johnson accepted it. His slave masters told him, do not take 50 million. Do not. 
his, what's the dude's name, John Candy or Candy from Candyland and fucking Django told him, he told his fucking buck, he told his buck, do not take that 50 million dollars, buck, do not take that 50 million. We'll, we, we can do something better, but we're not going to give you better, we're just going to tell you we can do better. We're going to tell you, we're going to gas you up to make it seem like Deontay Wilder, you know what I'm saying, and, and not just him, everything, all these people are doing it, gassing up Deontay Wilder as he's this fucking killer, which he is, and they got fucking Anthony Johnson so scared, this man was actually, I, I believe he was actually going to take the fight. He was actually gonna take it. But when they gassed, when they gassed Wilder up and they fucking have filled up uh, Johnson's head with all this fucking bullshit rhetoric, got this motherfucker thinking twice. They they gassed Wilder and 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 by all by all means the motherfucker deserves it. Cause he's a killer, man. He's a killer. But I, I don't think I don't think Anthony Johnson, I don't think Anthony Johnson actually was believing it. I think Anthony Johnson felt deep down that he could beat him until Mike Tyson, Roy Jones, you know, all them other buck dancers at the tour, F Floyd Mayweather talking about the, oh, the fight is needs to happen in the UK when this motherfucker never fought in the UK. <laughs> Just like I said before, amazing talent inside of the ring, bullshit motherfucker outside. And right now, while Floyd is out of the limelight, he's gonna say anything stupid to get himself back into it. Not a little bit off topic, but it was crazy when he did that video, he did that interview, you know what I'm saying, on Showtime, where he was like, uh, and everybody's asking me if I'm gonna fight. No, who's asking you? Who's everybody? Since you retired, I don't remember nobody asking you that if you're gonna fight again. Don't nobody give a fuck, man. You got your 50 and 0, you got your fucking. Hundreds and hundreds of millions. Motherfucker, live life, be, ha be happy and prosper and do all that shit. I'm a boxer fan. Them $300 million and four or $500 million, that's not doing shit for me. Nothing. Nothing. I'm getting nothing out of that. So I don't give a fuck how much you mean. Anthony Johnson, the only reason why I care about this fucking $50 million is because it comes with undisputed. That's why. It comes with undisputed and the title of the baddest man on the planet in boxing. I'm a boxing fan. I don't give a fuck about your 50 million if you weren't boxing. I don't give a fuck about your business. You don't give a fuck about mine and no, neither does nobody else that's listening to this shit. So I don't give a fuck what you're doing. I want to see a fight. I want to see the best fight the best. That's what my channel is best fight the best that's what I want to see I'm a boxing fan and I pay for that shit so that's my business other than that I don't give a fuck what you're doing it's bad business to fight Deontay Wilder right now it, it, it needs to happen in the UK for my fans fuck your fans I don't give a fuck where it happens just make it happen fucking bullshit Adrian Broner his, he's dumb he's a journeyman I can't believe he turned down um, Hearn. I can't believe it. He turned down the best deal. But when it comes to Anthony Johnson, it's a whole different fucking story. Get the fuck out of here, man. Anthony Johnson, you need to take that 50 million. You need to make the fucking fight that the fans want to see. That boxing fans want to see. Because no one gives a fuck about your business. Best fight the best and I'm out.